Hey YouTube, coming at you from inside the bus. Um, let's catch you up on what's been going on. Um, good news and bad news. Bad news is Banjo's been sick. The good news is he's doing a lot better. I got home from work Wednesday and he wasn't around. So I uh, proceeded to look for him all over and finally found him and he was out by the road, kind of laying in the ditch and didn't want to get up. So my first thought was he got hit by a car and uh, so I finally got him to stand up and he was not wanting to put weight on his front right leg so again I kind of thought he got hit by a car looked him all over he wasn't bleeding he wasn't skinned up his paws weren't skinned up or anything um, so I carried him back back over here and had him lay down and, and rest and uh, he didn't act like he was in a lot of pain so I just kind of figured he might have pulled this shoulder or something um, I could move I could touch him all over, I could move him, move every joint around, and he wasn't in pain. At least nothing audible. So, I, uh, like I said, I got him back here to rest. I went to work the next day, I left him in the bus all day. Came back and he was about the same shape. Um, he was, uh, he was always in good spirits. He never acted different. And he didn't act any different the day before, so. Anyhow, that Thursday, he hadn't gotten any better. So I decided Friday, I called. I didn't work Friday. I've been working weekends, so I didn't work. I didn't work all weekend, so I could stay home with him. But I went ahead and took him into the vet Friday, and uh, turns out he's got tick fever. So they gave him a steroid shot there. I had to carry him in and carry him out. But they gave him a steroid shot there I've got on my antibiotics and anti-inflammatory. And he started showing pr improvement pretty quick. Um, this is Sunday. And he's up and walking around on his own. Um, he's still a little wobbly, but he's been trying to get me to throw the ball for him, but I'm not doing it because he's still not strong enough to run. But he's doing a lot better. I think he'll make a full recovery. We caught it really early. Um, he didn't have any severe symptoms other than I think he was just having joint joint pain from it so he's doing a lot better he's continuing to improve I uh, I don't have any doubt that he'll make a full recovery I uh, was a little scared there for a little bit he had me pretty worried but I think he's gonna be just fine um, I'll throw in some video of, of him, how he's behaving. You'll see he's still got his energy and everything. So, um, talked to the vet about heartworm. So we tested him for that. He does not have heartworm, but I went ahead and put him on pre preventative because it's an issue down here in the South. And I'm also gonna start getting him on some joint medicine for his age. He's almost 10 years old now. So we're gonna get him all fixed up. I think he's gonna be just fine, so. He's the same old banjo. But other than that, I've just been uh, working and trying to get some stuff done around here. I've been doing some firewood and everything. I'll throw some footage of all that in. And uh, anyhow, that's my update. Um, stay tuned. I'll keep you all filled in more. I want to I wanna start getting back into shooting some videos for you guys and really want to start now that the weather is going to cool off i want to start doing some more hikes and stuff so anyhow thanks for watching and uh don't worry about banjo he's going to be okay and uh thank you everyone for your support and uh i hope everyone's doing good we'll talk to you later say bye banjo say bye Okay, buddy. Okay. Good boy. You're a good boy. Daddy.
somebody's got a boy. Hi, Banjo. You daddy's good boy, huh? Are you daddy's good boy? Yes. Yes. Look what I got, Banjo. What's this? What's that? Num nums. Num num hot dogs. <gasps> num nums. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. And so, sissy, you're doing a lot better. You didn't know it, but your medicine was in that hot dog. You're doing lots better, huh, buddy? Good boy. Banjo is still not strong enough to play. I know you want to. You're still not strong enough to play. See? You need to take it easy, buddy. You need to take it easy. We're not gonna play, okay? I know, I know you want to. You're a good boy. All right, y'all, I'm uh, walking over my great grandpa's old home site and I never realized that this Entire thicket is muscadine vines, and I am so excited. Muscadines are wild grapes that grow down here in the south, and if you've never had them, it is one of the most amazing flavors you could ever have. They have a real tough skin. Now oh, this one's pretty green, but they have a real tough skin, but they have a sweet, kind of a, almost a smoky flavor. Um, so now that I discovered this is here, I'm gonna look into what it takes to transplant some so I can get some over on my property. But I am uh, very, very excited about this.
I'm up on top of the carport. Um, there's a seam in the roofing here, and when it rains real hard, water seeps in and uh, gets a little wet in the carport. So I've been meaning to do this for a while, but I got this sealant tape. I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a butyl tape sealant tape for RVs. And uh, so I'm just gonna tape this seam all the way across and uh, hopefully that'll keep the rain out. Okay, I got the whole seam taped. see how well she seals. Like I said, it's uh, made for RVs, for sealing corners and seams. It's kind of like a, like I said, it's like a thin butyl rubber tape. Real sticky, so we'll see how she does this winter. Trailer frame all cleaned up. Built a new tongue for it. Much stronger steel. The old one's all bent up. It's gonna be my teardrop eventually, but I already had all this made, so I just configured it like this so I can use it in the meantime if I want to. And see how Old Jenny pulls it. Mm -hmm. 